ahead and show you the process of unwrapping this gun. Okay, so first one I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and select the low, all the low parts. There's a high and a low in this scene. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and isolate this. And uh, I'm going to attach all these parts together. I'm going to just hit the attach list and I'm going to um, select everything that is low. So now it's one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a symmetry on it. It's kind of a good way to split it in half. You want to really look in close to make sure you don't get any double lines or lose any detail. So you kind of want to look around the gun and um, or the object and just see see if it all looks good. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and convert it back to an edible poly and go to the top viewport. Go to the polygon level. Select half the gun. Okay, I'm going to hit delete. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, look for see if there's any kind of um, cleaning up I can do, like possibly any polygons that are on the inside that will never be seen. Um, which will make the unwrapping um, easier as well as your overall polygon count um, smaller. Now I'm selecting these are obviously the holes in the gun, um, but if this is a stationary gun, um, you see a little bit right there, but really insignificant amount. I mean, I could just simply move this over like that and no one would ever know the difference. And uh, so with that, I can go ahead and delete it. I'm going to collapse everything now and uh, go ahead and give it material IDs now um, because we're going to want that in Substance Painter to define the pieces. It will also make the unwrapping easier. Okay, so there we go. So that's going to be one ID. So how you do IDs is you go in here um, under the, where is it? Um, polygonal material ID and we're going to do the first one. I'm going to do the, the first one too. Okay, and um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, select uh, this piece. Now what we can do with this is we can actually select it by an um, element because it rem remembers that it was once its own piece. So this one was going to be three. Okay, and then I'll select this piece and that will be four. This piece, five, pretty easy. It's already five. This is going to be six. And uh, then uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have this, this we're going to have, we're going to select the barrel right here. And whoops, turn off the, we'll go back to the polygon level. And this, we don't want this part though, because this part is supposed to be the, the barrel part. I guess we'll leave it, it would be nice to um, differentiate it. All right, so. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do it like this and then hold the control key and select these pieces and I think I have it all. Nope. Whoops. And to hold the control key, not the alt key. Okay, so this will be seven. Whoops, seven. And then the rest of it, actually, what number is it by default? So we're going to hit uh, select ID 1. Okay, that looks good. That's what I want to be 1. So that makes it easy. Okay, so that's 1. Okay, so it's all separated. Okay, select ID 2. Select. See? Select ID 3. Okay. 4. 5. And whoops, see there's a little piece right here that we, we don't want to be part of the five, so that we want to be one. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the, uh, um, um, I'm just going to select it and not, not have the other part selected, and I'm going to give that a one. Okay, so it's good that we're checking. And um, okay, so we'll go to five again. Oops, select ID five. Oops. Select. Okay, that's good. Six, seven. And I think that's it.
Okay, great. Um, so while we're at it, <coughs> we might as well we might as well um, add a, a multi-sub-object material um, so that we can actually see the different parts. Okay, um, so normally you can um, get the eyedropper and you can click on an object that has multi-sub-object materials and it will automatically create one for you, but it's not doing it in this case, so we'll just go ahead and uh, grab a multi-sub-object right here. And you see that um, now it's on, but the materials are um, not defined. So I'm going to go ahead and select one, and I'm going to give it a green. And I'm going to name it green. Okay, and I'm going to drag this down as a copy, and this will be uh, this will be blue. I'm going to open up the Material Map Navigator to kind of get around easier. Okay, I'm going to, uh, the next one, um, that's going to be uh, a light blue. I try to stay away from the reds because it looks like a selection. Okay, and uh, we shall, actually, why don't we just go ahead and copy a bunch down here. We need, we know we need uh, seven. Okay, so let's see, we'll go to four, and we'll make it, um, what color are we going to use? We're going to use yellow, yellow. We'll name it yellow. Now, these colors that we, these um, names that we have right here, that's that will show up inside of Substance Painter. If you don't name it there, then it will just kind of come up with some generic um, name, and so it's easier um, to distinguish them if you, in fact, uh, Put a put a name there, okay? So this will be orange, okay? And this will be uh, this will be purple, and this will be. Let's see. Why don't we do it um, pink, okay? Oops, P I. Okay. Okay, and so as you can see, since I already applied it, the materials um, it's now defined by by different colors. Now the purple's looking a lot like pink, so I'm gonna have to do something there. Maybe I'll just make the pink lighter pink. That will help. Oh, and mm, it really does look the same. Um, make it a darker, richer purple. There we go. Alrighty. So let's go ahead with the unwrap. So I'm going to go ahead and save this or hold this. And um, but you still have to unwrap it, otherwise uh, um, um, you have to unwrap it, or it's not going to be um, work right in, in Painter. All right, so we'll go ahead and add our unwrap. All right, and. Um, now that we have um, material IDs, it's actually easier to select various parts. So go ahead and um, I'm going to use this. I mean, okay. Okay, it's selected. I just didn't have the F2 button selected. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, try a uh, simple quick planer. Of course, we're not going to really know if uh, these our maps are right at all. Um, sort of pointless to do this unless we put a checker map on there. But um, since I've gotten this far, I'll just go ahead and uh, move this over. That's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to put um, the checkered material um, here um, that we have. So just get any bitmap material, and I think I, um, I hope, hopefully, I have it right there. Good. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto everything. Now, this is not going to get rid of the IDs. Um, the IDs are there. Um, so now we can see what's really going on. Let's see if it's, yeah, that's great. That's just fantastic worked out really well. You know, the, the better your UVs are, the easier it is to actually unwrap. And there's a lot of triangles in this because, um, you know, because the, the, the modeler is trying to make it low, low poly, but, um, you know, there are ways of making things low poly and avoiding a lot of triangles. It makes it easier to unwrap. Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead. There we go. Do the pelt. Start pelt. Start relax. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. No big deal. Oh, 
All right, what else? Uh, so, looks like everything is pretty much checkered. I just kind of have to, this is a little bit of an issue right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, manually select these pieces and break them off into its own little part. All right, I'll just manually select it. Oh, I can also select it by angle. Um, sometimes that's helpful. And then you can sometimes, oh, wait a minute. Uncheck that. And I'll go ahead and deselect these other parts. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Control B for break that. And I uh, want to lay that uh, flat. Alright, so let's try the planer. And that's looking pretty gritty good. I'm liking that. I like that. Okay. Um, let's keep it over here. And then this edge. And we'll bring that over here. Okay, it's not really important, but we might as well unwrap it. And so now we just have to get um, all these all kind of cleaned up. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to select all the pieces, and we're going to make them relatively the same size um, by hitting this button. But actually, I'm going to undo this because um, I want some of these pieces to be straight. It's better to make them straight first. And this piece, let's see if I can make this flat right on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pack them. Okay. And um, add um, now add the symmetry modifier on it. And um, and it's good. Um, oops, let's flip it. And we've got it. It's unwrapped on both sides perfectly. Um, that took about uh, two and a half hours, which um, is shorter time than it would be um, with other with uh, you know maybe other methods. Seems like a long time, but um, you know this one uh, little piece is uh, larger than. But uh, you know you could go in and fix it. Um, I kind of do want to go and fix that one piece because um, then we have it all perfectly right. There we go. Okay. We'll save that.